When East meets West, China's Doyen of Couture, Guo Pei, displayed what's made her one of the most celebrated old couture designers on the Chinese mainland. Guo Pei's elaborate blend of East and West design was one of the highlights of the Hong Kong fashion extravaganza, part of the HKTDC World Boutique Hong Kong. The works of compatriot Frankie Shear. And Japan's Toshikazu Iwaya were also featured, along with Hong Kong's own Dorian Ho. I draw my inspiration from the Middle East and India. It's my biggest market. I use a lot of silk. It's my favorite fabric uh, because I want to show the silhouette of women. You know, I like to um, add a little bit of sexiness. Dorian Ho is eyeing a return to the mainland market after starting in the business there more than 10 years ago with his evening wear collection. It's about the right time to go back to the market. There are a lot of、uh, events going on in China.、Uh, I think it's in demand. People need to dress up. You can see that the fashion industry is growing in China, and、uh, people are watching them. Definitely,、um, in the next few years, you will see a lot of、um, upcoming, you know, talent designer. Hong Kong designer definitely have the strength, you know, in working with the corporation in China to come up with collections, you know, in the future. And the future may well lie here at the annual Hong Kong Young Fashion Designers Contest, spotlighting a new generation of Hong Kong design talent. Lending some star power to the show was UK fashion house Vivian Westwood and its creative director Andreas Kronthaler, who served as one of the VIP judges. It's a great opportunity and honor, really, to be here in Hong Kong, and it's the door to China. And And, and it's an enormous market, and it's helpful. It's a pedestal you can present your work here, and、uh, hopefully sell to the world behind it. And showcase it did with its runway show, Vivian Westwood Anglomania. I mean, there is England, maybe there is Japan, but Hong Kong is as important as Japan to us. So you have to be here. Other international brands debuting at this year's show include Dutch menswear label On Front. On front stands for the mixture between classic tailoring and、uh, street influences. It represents individuality, and we think that's a, a growing concept、uh, within China for the Chinese youth, especially. Cutting edge fashion also makes its debut here at this year's World Boutique. Eleven exhibitors from the U.S. and U.K. are showcasing alternative fashion here at the Underground Quarter, organized by London Edge. Lip Service is a rock and roll brand. It's rooted with music influence. We have a lot of punk rock, gothic, clubwear styles, and also streetwear. So we really cover the alternative market. We do know that people in Hong Kong and China seem very style conscious, and they 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 want something interesting. So. Yeah, we hope that we can appeal to some people. They see the huge potential in the Asian market and would really like to to come out here and break into that market.、Um, but it could be very, very daunting to come out here as a single company,、um, and therefore, you know, we we're the support for them. Nearly 2,000 exhibitors from 30 countries and regions took part in Asia's largest fashion event. The 41st edition of Hong Kong Fashion Week featured seminars on market and fashion trends. The key point is uh, tangible. Uh, we mean、uh, we want to have materials we can touch. We want handcraft material. We want something we can touch. Spanish fashion brand Mango also exhibited for the first time at the Hong Kong event. Hong Kong was its first stop before entering the mainland market eight years ago. We didn't want to go to China before being in Hong Kong, for the same reason you say, because I think the market is the same. They can teach a lot about the, how the Chinese market will be, and we learn a lot about size-wise and taste-wise how people, what people likes here, and it was a very good help for us to to introduce ourselves to Chinese market. Hong Kong is also being used by mainland designers like Guo Pei to launch their products abroad. Hong Kong is a window to the rest of the world, so through a market like Hong Kong, we could introduce our collections to overseas buyers.